Hey guys, I hope you all are doing well and safe. Welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I will be guiding you through the process of creating beautiful trees with leaf imprints using molded clay. I have collected different types of leaves for this. I am using Fevigril Moldy Clay which is a versatile air dry clay that is perfect for crafting projects. Ensure you have a clean and flat surface to work on. Lay down a sheet of wax paper or any non-stick surface to prevent the clay from sticking to your work area. Take equal amount of clay and hardener mix them together before lightly dust your hands with baby powder or talcum powder. Flatten the clay using a rolling pin until you achieve your desired thickness for the tray. Aim for an equal thickness throughout. Choose a fresh and clean leaf with an interesting texture. Place the leaf on the top of the clay base. Gently press it with a rolling pin to create a clear imprint. Be careful not to press too hard and tear the leaf. To create a desired shape, gently press the clay into the bowl using them as a mold. Follow the same process of rolling out the clay, imprinting the leaf, shaping the clay around the imprint and using bowls as mold. So same procedure for the rest of the trays. You can create raised edges or keep it flat depending on your preferences. Smooth out and rough edges or imperfections using water. Using a craft knife, shape the clay around the leaf imprint to form the sides of the tray. Allow the clay tray to air dry. This may take several hours or days depending on the thickness of the clay. Place it in a safe and dust free location while it dries. Once the trays are completely dry, carefully remove them from the bowls. Gently loosen the edges of the clay from the bowls using your fingers or small tools like craft knife, uh, like toothpick. Yeah. Ensuring not to damage the trays in the process. Once loosened, gently lift the trays out of the bowl. Take care not to bend or distort them. You can sand the surfaces with sandpaper to smooth out any rough spots. You can also paint the trees using acrylic paints. Feel free to get creative with patterns, gradients or any other artistic effects you want. I am using greens, blues and gold. These colors will create a stunning effect on the trees. To protect the painted surfaces and add a glossy finish, you can apply a layer of varnish. Use a clean paint brush to carefully apply the varnish. Allow the varnish to dry completely before using or displaying the trays. Enjoy the process of adding colors and designs that suits your style and preferences. Once the base color have dried, I started enhancing the trees by adding gold detailing using smaller round brush, carefully applying gold paint to the specific areas on the tree. 
This can include leaf imprints, creating intricate design and edges, highlighting the edges and borders. I diluted gold paint into the water and applying the mixture evenly across the trays which adds a metallic sheen. For a more abstract look, I splashed off gold paint on the trays. Overall the product resulting in eye-catching trays that seamlessly blend natural elements, captivating colors and elegant finishes. These trays are perfect for organizing and storing your daily jewelry accessories. Here's how you can use these trays especially for daily jewelry accessories like earrings, rings, bracelets, bangles, necklaces, etc. By using these trays especially for your daily jewelry accessories, you can save your time, effort in finding and selecting the pieces what you want to wear by making your morning routine more efficient and enjoyable. Let me know in the comment section below which tray you like the most. Like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye-bye.